Je suis née à Montréal, mais j'ai grandi aux États-Unis, où je parlais que l'anglais. Quand je suis retournée au Canada à l'âge de 15 ans, c'était très difficile pour moi d'apprendre le français. Mais finalement, ce défi est la raison pourquoi j'étudie la neuroscience, parce que je me demandais qu'est-ce qui est différent dans le cerveau après l'enfance qui le fait plus difficile à apprendre une langue. Study auditory neuroplasticity, which is how the sounds that we hear and interact with throughout our lives can actually shape the structure and function of our brains. So different sounds can have different effects on the brain. When you're learning music, learning to play a new instrument, or learning a new language, it actually does change your brain and it makes you better at discriminating sounds that are important to that language or to that instrument. Too much noise can negatively impact the brain, and that's something that we're trying to understand in my lab. And what we see is that after living in a noisy environment, cells in the brain actually have a less accurate response to sounds than they would have before. And I think having communication barriers as a kid was one of the things that really motivated me to pursue science communication projects. So Useful Science is a science website and podcast dedicated to bringing science to the general public. And the way that we do that is by summarizing scientific articles into one-sentence summaries. And these are articles that are useful to everyday life. We cover topics like parenting, nutrition, health, fitness, sleep, uh, any number of things. And most recently, we started covering the environment. We really want them to be able to click on the articles and make up their own minds about the science. For me, this project is really important because there's so much science out there that happens every single day that could actually make a difference in people's lives, but it doesn't get to them because it's either behind a paywall or because they're not scientists or because it doesn't get reported on. So my lab is in the Neuro, and the Neuro is the first open science institute in the world. Open science can really make a difference in the speed at which neuroscience happens, or science in general, by improving the sharing of data, results, and materials. One of the most time-consuming things about research is actually obtaining your own data, when oftentimes you're really just duplicating something that has been done before. And so having access to other people's data sets would have maybe helped my PhD go faster. It's always hard to let go of your data because you spend so much time working on it and you feel a sense of ownership over it, but I think that I would be honored for somebody to use my data in their own research. I love learning how flexible the brain is. So it's so exciting each and every day to just see more proof of how much we can learn and change throughout our whole lives. Mm -hmm.